So hello fellow Earthlings. This is Earthling 6455463728. And Brett Weinstein, um, this evergreen pro professor who lost his job, and the brother of Eric Weinstein, I believe. I think he 100%, I think, it is my opinion, that he 100% thinks that Mr. Chauvin um, is not responsible for the death of George Floyd. Now, why do I think that? Well, I think that because um, he was on Joe Rogan's podcast telling Joe Rogan that he's not sure if what he saw was a murder. And I saw that he was on his podcast again talking to a famous uh, I think linguistic, uh, linguist or lexiconologist from Columbia University. This guy, I can't remember his name, but he was telling this guy the same thing. Um, and of course, the way that he puts it is in a reasonable way. He said, I don't know, you know, about this, but you do. You do believe it anyway. Maybe you don't know. I think we can all agree that you don't know. But I think you really believe it. And this is even after you've been told that it's probably not the case by somebody who is a professional at putting people in chokeholds, who's been doing it for most of his life, not even adult life, you know. I think he's been, uh, Joe Rogan has been in martial arts from the, since he was a teenager. And he's telling you, that this is a chokehold that can lead to somebody's death. And you're like, well, you know, this might be an approved uh, move by the police in order to make sure that he doesn't harm himself. Then I'm surprised that they haven't killed more people. Because if you are on top of somebody, if four cops are on top of you and the next guy is on top of somebody's neck, I'm surprised. And I'm also surprised that now, this is the craziest thing to me. I don't know if he's picking and choosing who he listens to or what, but there's a police chief on, on YouTube, or there's a video of a police chief saying that anybody who thinks that this is okay is crazy. I can't think of anybody who has said that this is an actual move that people do, that police do, which is putting a knee on somebody's neck. That that don't make any sense whatsoever. Um, so police have come out and said, no, this is not a thing. Places like New York have banned chokeholds. If he really wanted to find out, he could you know, actually speak to doctors. Um, if you are somebody who has a podcast and you are somebody who you know, a lot of people look to, isn't it? in uh, a good idea to be more knowledgeable about what you're talking about. I mean, don't look at Joe Rogan 100%. Joe Rogan brings on, I, I realize now that the actual experts, the real science-based experts on Joe Rogan's show are really few and far between. I mean, it's the comedians, it's the MMA fighters, it's various personalities um, and the experts that I, I really started watching um, intently they are really few and far between I mean the experts that I really watched Joe Rogan for was uh, one guy on um, the COVID-19 uh, epidemic another guy who spoke about the first guy and was talking about viruses uh, before anything happened then there was a guy on sleep sleep expert and then I guess maybe you could call Colin 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 Noir and maybe you could call him a I don't know that you could call him an arms expert and then there are the Navy SEALs people yeah the real real experts who come on to talk about their real subject matter they're really few and far between and um, I guess it's the same thing with uh, Brett Weinstein. It's that 
he doesn't really feel the need to Google this stuff that he seems to want to continually keep talking about. And he keeps couching it and presenting it as, you know, I'm not really sure. No, no, you're really sure. The, the in amount of times that you keep talking about it and the fact that you really hope that uh, Mr. Chauvin gets a fair trial. Now, I understand if you think that Mr. Chauvin um, might not have killed this guy. Um, obviously, you're not paying attention to any of the law enforcement people that are saying that this kind of knee on neck is not a good idea. It is not something that they approve of. Obviously, you're not paying attention to all the other people who are saying, like, you know, chokeholds, not a good idea. And you just want to, you know, ease the idea in there that maybe he didn't actually die of uh, asphyxiation as a result of these cops. You just want to, I don't know. We don't really know for a fact, you know, none of us know. Well, then find people who know. And wherever it is that you're getting this idea, let me, let me make sure I understand this because this guy um, dies, right, in less less than the eight minutes and 46 seconds. That's, that's overkill. He was quiet long before that, right? And Joe Rogan is telling you that that is a chokehold. This is a guy who can kill a man, telling you that what this guy is doing can kill a man. And you're like, eh, you don't even mention it the next time you bring it up. Do you really want to know the truth? Or you've already made up your mind and you know that people want to jump all over you if you come out speaking like that. So you say, I'm not sure, we're not sure. This really reminds me of um, a friend of mine I know, I know who loves conspiracy theories. 9-11 was a government plot. Um, the planes did not even hit the Pentagon. Look, there's no wreckage from the planes. Yes, nobody actually landed on the moon. Um, there's that radiation belt around the earth that would kill anybody who goes above it and then when I say listen I don't think that anything that I tell you will really reach you no 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 I I'm open to to really understanding you know no you're not you're not people use those words in order to seem reasonable even when they know that they're not being reasonable I know other you know, family members of mine who I explain the same thing over and over and over again to them. And they seem like they get it at the time. And you give them a day or two, not even a day or two, I'm sure they would go back to it. But I, I realize, whoa, I spent two hours with you explaining this on, on one occasion, definitely like a week ago and before that, and before that, and before that, and you still have this belief that does not make any sense whatsoever. It has nothing to do with, with facts. You, this got into your head and you're stuck. And the next thing is, he honest to goodness believes that the, the things, the activity that happened at the school that resulted in him being fired I presume is what it was whatever the reason why he does not live the um, work at the, his school anymore is symptomatic of something that would lead to a uh, civil war in the United States somehow he thinks that that no police area in Seattle is uh, furtherance of what happened at his school and it was it's that system that organism and he admits it's leaderless so a leaderless uh, movement that is a Maoist leaderless movement is taking over America and will lead to a civil war as people who want to overturn um, an unjust system and even people who want to improve the lot of minorities, black people, that this leaderless movement 
is not going to go in all random directions, but it's going to have a cohesion as if it had a leader and lead to a civil war. I, I don't know what's, from my perspective, I don't know what's wrong with this dude. That he thinks that a leaderless group is going to have cohesion and direction and try to overturn science and STEM um, systems uh, around, across America. I don't, I don't know what he's thinking, but he is, he's really, really on to that point of view. And this is someone who, you know, his idea about the fact that we're using improperly, uh, or shifted, biologically shifted mice, and that affects, potentially can affect all of our pharmaceutical tests um, in the past and maybe even in the future. Um, and I think that he, the idea that, that he came up with, that he spoke about on his brother's podcast and on Joe Rogan, I think it's really, really fantastic, good stuff. But again, at the same time, I think it shows that people who are focused on one endeavor can be really, really smart about that and about everything else in life, they can be pretty stupid. And I think there was an example of Linus Pauling. He is a guy, he won a Nobel Prize, I believe it was, and it was outside of his field, but he believed that mega doses of vitamins were, could, you know, do everything. It could help your entire body do everything, you know, prevent you from getting sick, um, allow you to recover from illnesses at an uh, amazing rate, all this other fantastic stuff. Now, tell me this. If you have material that you use to build and repair a house, if you have mega doses of that material, is that going to help the house, like, not need repairs? Is that going to build the house faster? You're just going to have a whole bunch of material for building the house. And it's the same thing with a human body. If you take more than your body needs, what is your body going to do with it? Excrete it. It's going to break it down and excrete it. And that should be obvious to anybody. But no, these mega doses of vitamins are supposed to help rather than just end up in your urine or I don't know how or which particular nutrient but end up in your you know your stool or something they're not going to your body's going to do something with them amazing that's just crazy anyway guys wish me luck you can like or unlike comment subscribe and or share and it's not preferred but of course you can do nothing peace